Hey, it's Yuli here, and in this video, I want to try and answer two questions. If you should use your computer on your lap, which a lot of people use, and should you use a computer when it's charging, being charging electricity? So I'm holding here an EMF meter. It's an ME385A gigahertz solution. It measures number one, electrical fields, and it measures magnetic fields. So I'm gonna measure using this device right now, my wife's computer, to see how much it's emitting, because there's a certain level which is very unhealthy and damaging which you want to prevent so those are the building biology evaluation guidelines for sleeping areas this is the exposure which is supposed to be healthy for you in places you spend a lot of time which is a sleeping area and usually where you work right now come close I'm measuring magnetic fields and I'm holding the meter just, a, I don't know, like 30 centimeters, it's not really high. But look what's happening when I'm really getting close. Right now it's measuring the magnetic field on a frequency of 50 Hz to 100 kHz and it's very, very high. As you can see, it depends on the angle. Those are very, very high readings. You want to prevent your body from being exposed to such magnetic fields. Now imagine you put this computer on your lap and then you work. This is the amount of magnetic field which is hitting your body and this is not really friendly to your biology. Now I'm gonna switch to electrical fields and see what this specific computer emits. Um, so currently it doesn't really emit anything specific in terms of electrical fields. Now I'm gonna go and charge this computer and see what a computer emits when it is being connected uh, and being charging. So I'll plug it in right now and look what's happening. Before there are zero electrical fields which the device was picking up. Now the more I'm getting closer, the meter is just throwing off. Like the meter can't even pick up the amount of electrical fields. So distance is your friend if you are gonna use it, but clearly don't use it. There is no need for you to use a computer when it's charging. So as you can see specifically when the computer, the electrical device is being charged directly with electricity, there's a very, very high electrical fields and they are unhealthy and harming for your body. Now look what happens when I'll disconnect the computer from electricity. Currently, it's picking up very, very high electrical fields. Um, going almost to zero. Now I'm gonna plug it again and look what happens to the meter and the electrical fields. It's picking up very, very high electrical fields. So just based on this, the recommendation and the answer would be don't use your computer or phone or other devices when it's plugged in to the electricity. Use your computer when it's unplugged from electricity. Now let's measure the magnetic frequencies. Those don't really change when it's plugged into electricity, which makes sense because when it's plugged in, there's more electrical fields coming from the laptop, but still very, very medium to high when you're touching the computer. So you don't want to be putting it on your lap because then your body is getting it. You want to use distance, use a keyboard, use a mouse, ideally wired keyboard and wired mouse. And this will prevent the amount of magnetic fields and electrical fields you're exposing yourself. So um, I hope through this video and just with the quick measurements I just did using the Jigger solutions, uh, you saw that the computer is emitting very, very high electrical fields and magnetic fields when it's plugged in to the electricity or in general when it's not plugged in when you put something on your lap. And this may be one reason why there are more people who are infertile and having issues. So the conclusion from the video is really just don't put a computer on your lap and don't work on a computer when it's being charged to electricity. Um, that's all for this video. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy. So I want you to see, this is the router I disabled the wireless and for a while it's showing as zero, meaning there are no wireless inputs. But look what's gonna happen right now. There has been a big, big spike, uh, which is happening once in a while. And this is not the first time this is happening for me. Let's wait, look how it's jumping. So you think the router is not emitting anything, but that's the power of measuring something. So right now, if I'll go to my phone, into my computer, this specific router, which has been disabled, the actual wireless signal, is not being picked up. However, the specific device, this specific router, is still emitting wireless signals. That's why it's extremely important to measure it. So that's the best tip I can give here. 
Don't just believe me. Don't just believe anyone else. Don't just believe the devices. Go and measure. Use an EMF meter to measure the actual microwave radiation. And I have missed it. The only way I picked it up is my wife was sitting right on that table and the router is right here. So she will start feeling bad. She started having symptoms only to see we've actually missed it. This is a new router we installed and the router is emitting. And this is not the first time it's happening. Right now, today, lots of companies are not aware.